First, we unscrew the seven screws on the back cover. Then open the back cover. Pull out this vibration cable. And connect the vibration motor cable onto our aluminum alloy bottom case. Assemble it according to this and stick this bottom sheet on our radiator. Second, we remove the fan, the hard drive and the TF card board, and the screws on the module, and the cover of the battery cable, and remove them one by one. At this time, we can see a complete motherboard. Okay, the third step. In order to make it easier for easier us, easier to remove the motherboard, we need to remove the two keys, two joysticks and the battery cable, and the keyboard, and the display cable. When we are removing the cable, look at this place. There is a white one on the cable and pull it up to 90 degrees. Then the white cable will be loose. Then pull it back. Use the tweezers in the kit to pull it back and it will fall All off. the white ones are pulled back. Just pull it up to 90 degrees and stand it up. Then this. And lift the display cable directly up. And it will come up. And the keyboard cable is pulled up. And it's done. After removing the cable, we unplug the speaker cable. And then remove. And the antenna plug. After removing the cable, remove the two sharp keys and two joysticks. After unplugging the this cable, we can fully see the motherboard. Then remove the screws on the motherboard. And then take out the motherboard. After removing the motherboard, we lift the motherboard up from below the battery. So it will be easier to take it out. After picking it up, we can see the complete C surface, the inside of the CC shell. Then, according to the corresponding holes, we can stick the material of our matching multi-hole vacuum and stick it on according to the holes. There is one thing to note here. It's the heat insulating material on the key. There are two sets. One is this PT error gel, which is only 0.2 mm thick, which will not affect the feel at all. However, the thermal insulation is not as good as error gel. It's better than that of porous vacuum silicon. So we made an additional set. The porous vacuum silicon, the heat insulating material of this but key. But during the testing process, we found that this small component here the cross key here. If you put the porous vacuum silicon it here, will affect the feel of the buttons. But for these four small components the heat here, insulating material of porous will vacuum not affect silicon. The feel. So, you can stick it on yourself later. And try it yourself. If you think the porous vacuum silicon both of them, and it doesn't affect the feel, you can choose to stick porous vacuum silicon. If you think it affects your feel, you can choose to stick the PD error gel. So we specially made an extra set for you to choose freely. After we installed the seaside thermal material, at this time, we will install the when motherboard When installing back. the motherboard, we install the front first. At this time, the touchpad touch cable, to. not to be pressed under the motherboard. Then install the lower back end and then, when installing the lower back, pay attention to the first one, the cable of the key should not be pressed. And the second one is the battery because cable, it's shorter. so we use tweezers. Use this anti-static tweezers, not metal ones. Use the tweezers to hook it. Then, we need to lay the motherboard flat. After flattening, we install the screws on the motherboard. When we install this shoulder button, we should first pay attention to that one thing. The spring should be placed in this notch below. Here. If you don't align it with this it card won't point, back later. You see, it's installed now. After installation, press it with your hand. When pressing it, and then put it on the installation card position. 
fix the screw. When installing the cable, after inserting the cable, the white one in front, you need to turn it back to a flat 180 degrees to a parallel state. At this time, the cable will be otherwise fixed. The cable will be loose. It serves as a clamping function. It will tighten the cable. After installing our motherboard, we can install the two sharp pieces and two joysticks back in place. After installation, just plug the cable in directly. After inserting the cable, flatten the buckle, it's tightened. Then pay attention to a place on the motherboard. The four screw holes on the right. One, two, three, four are for this. Are used for the kit and the buckle. This is the last one. So, pay attention. After installing Use these, the matching 7950 lower sheet at this time. Then clean the cabinet on the original CPU. Wipe it clean and stick it on. Then use your fingers to press up, down, left, and right. Press it, and we can see from we can the edge. See a mark from the edge. At this time, we can gently lift it off. And remove the top film. Then at this time, we can put back our original heat dissipation module, fan, hard drive, and TF cardboard, and install them back in the previous steps. After installation, we need to pay attention to two places. The fan adapter board. Remove the screw in the middle of the plastic cover. Then use the long screw that comes with it, a slightly longer screw, and fix it tightly. After fixing it tightly, at this time, we will have a rubber ring. This rubber ring removes the thin one of the original fan and stick our 2mm one on it, which can better gather the wind and reduce the fan's squeaking sound. The last step is to install the heat dissipation module and the bottom shell. The vibration motor. After you remove it, when you install it on the new bottom case, you need to swap the two ends because the cable socket it's just in the position of the small fan. The small fan is pressing it, so it can't be installed. Then at this we time, we need to adjust these two vibration in the motors. opposite direction. After installation, we install the radiator and the small fan. Use the cabinet that comes with it. The first point is that we also have a the 7905 bottom sheet, but we specially equipped a cabinet. We need to drill a little bit more in this front position because it is a wall empty position. And in the front position, we need to drill a little to bit here. increase its better contact. After installation, we need to plug in the corresponding wires. This one is the fan cable. This one is the fan cable. This one is the vibration line. Instead of the previous short cable, plug, plug it, it here. Then we can install the fan back cover. After installing the fan back cover, we need to press it slightly. Because this is an aluminum alloy Unlike back the cover, previous plastic back cover, which has a snap fit, and it will be firmly clamped when pressed directly. So, we need to screw in these four screws in turn. And then apply force and in turn. And it will be fixed tightly. Then install the three screws on the side. And it's done.